Fans far and wide are all headed to Brainerd International Raceway for the 39th annual Lucas Oil NHRA Nationals. With only one event left in the regular season, the crowds at BIR are growing by the hour. Reporter Nick Ursini was at the raceway today for qualifiers. The roar of the engines are back at the Brainerd International Raceway. Oh, it's going great. The people coming in, they're real happy. Had one crabby guy out of, I don't know, a couple of hundred. So it's really great. People come in, they understand that we need to check their wristband, we need to make sure that they have the appropriate stickers for their campers and their ATVs. Everybody's really good about that. Today was qualifying races before the drag racing series kicks off tomorrow. At this weekend's events, there will be some new things. This year, the Pro Mod cars are coming, which we've never had in Brainerd. And they are a really fun, super fast class to watch. Um, 12 and under, kids are free. So we encourage everyone to bring their kids out and try to enjoy a day of racing with the family. If you've never been to BIR before or any NHRA event, the experience is unlike any other. One of the, the loudest impact type racing I've ever seen. I mean, it really is incredible. I love bringing first timers here because you can't explain the adrenaline that happens when, they, when the nitro cars go. And if you plan on going to any of the events this weekend, there are some things you should bring. What they should expect, first of all, is a lot of fun and a lot of good racing. And you asked about preparation before. Folks, make sure if you're coming here, stay well hydrated. If you have any problems with heat exhaustion, make sure you are well hydrated when you come here. On top of the advice Swenson gave, if you plan on coming down to the raceway, I recommend some sunscreen and a good pair of earplugs. Reporting from the Brainerd International Raceway, Nick Ursini, Lakeland News. And races run through Sunday. Tickets are still available. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.